Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Sam Cozy, creator of uh, Comfy UI Diffuse. I want to spend a few minutes to address some of the issues that uh, people are posting. Uh, first of all, I apologize, I could not find any easier solution like many of the Comfy UI nodes to just click and install it. And the reason behind that is uh, this uh, repository, it's a very complex deep learning solutions that are several different deep learning solutions are in one node. So for example, the, the text to speech, which is, is being used for the voice cloning, it's by itself, it's a big project. And then when you go to the uh, Deep Fuse by itself also, it's another deep learning solution. And we also have the uh, large language models running on this. Uh, that's another one. And in addition to that, we're having a, a face swap technology, which is, that one is another uh, uh, big deep learning uh, uh, solution. And we're right now, uh, in the next 24 hours, adding the sad talker for uh, uh, turning image to uh, to, to create a, a lip sync from image. So we're also adding that one too, which is, this is another a very complex installation, which it give you a very good result, but only on image and on the close up image of the faces. And eventually we're planning also to add a uh, hollow, which is another great solution uh, in upcoming weeks. So that's the reason is there is really not an easy solution to just click. Even if outside of Confuai you want to install any of those solutions separately, it takes hours and lots of uh, skill sets to, to install it. So I tried as much as possible to make the process really easy for you. So for people that are using Mac, uh, it's for uh, enabling MPS, which stands for Metal per Performance Shaders, which is uh, kind of like GPU for uh, uh, Mac. You can uh, follow the instructions on this video in here. And there are a couple of uh, pre-processing uh, that you have to prepare your environment for. Mac, I think people, they use Mac, they know how they always have to find a way to work with Comfy UI. So you guys are familiar with that. So it's very easy and straightforward. And uh, for Windows, if you want to install it without enabling uh, CUDA, uh, you can basically just simple as one click, go to Comfy UI Manager and install it. But if you want to enable your CUDA, which is a, a deep learning uh, library, allow you to parallel your GPU to uh, perform a deep learning tasks. So it's a little bit more complex. And I suggest you, if first of all, like try to install it on a different, uh, copy of your uh, Comfy UI to, to learn how to install it. And if you're really not familiar with uh, installation process, I would not even suggest you to do that. Or maybe you should just watch a couple of videos and see how you feel if you, if you think that's something you can uh, install it and install it. If not, probably you have to wait until you have those skill sets. So it's a, very st straightforward, if you're using uh, uh, some of the nodes such as Reactor, probably you have already your Visual Studio. Uh, uh, you can have the community version installed. And when you're installing it, you make sure you select C++ build tools. Uh, it's on the desktop development with the C++. And once you install that, and uh, you can install Comfy UI from a Comfy Manager. And when you restart it, watch your terminal, or uh, it would just make sure there is no uh, error or if there is something that is not installed. So, and the other way, 
the other uh, way you can uh, install it is just basically just copy this line and put it on your install via git url and then okay it and that's it and restart it. so this is the basically by doing that you will have options to um, to run your config ui with the cpu enabled but if you want to install cuda it's become a little bit complex so why uh, these versions are very important and you cannot change them because uh, deep fake or uh, wave to lips or uh, voice cloning these are all built on uh, this version of CUDA so that's why it's very important you uh, stick with the numbers are here so first you have to uh, first you have to download the uh, CUDA toolkit 11.8 so you come here to NVIDIA developers for this one you don't need to even have an account you can just download it so it depends on your uh, uh, operating system you select windows and you select your architecture and if you have windows 10 11 or servers so in our case like we select this and then you want to install this locally when you select that so it gives you a file so you can download this and when you download this file it would be something like uh, something like uh, this kind of file and when you double click on that so it's open this and you can okay it and from just do everything as express by default and you install your uh, uh, CUDA toolkit uh, 11.8 and in order to uh, make sure your installation went through you just come back here and you go to your program files and then you go down you find you have to see this file it's called nvidia gpu computing toolkit so when you go into that you will see cuda and then it has different versions of cuda there 11.6 11.8 and the latest one 12.5 which in our case like we want to go with the 11.8 so this one is very straightforward and the next thing you have to do is you have to download QDNN. I just don't know why NVIDIA made this so difficult. This has to be like one click or have an option to select your versions and, and it has to just download by itself. I don't know why they made that. So basically what is the CUDA Deep Neural Network, it's, it's a library that it's developed by NVIDIA for uh, deep learning tasks. So, and this is very important. You need to only download this version. If you download any other version, it's not going to work with this code. So if you have a developer account, so you can go here into archive and then you look for a uh, eight point uh, what was the version uh, eight point nine two two six so you go here uh, eight point nine two so there are two versions here one is for CUDA twelve and one is for CUDA eleven you need this one and when you are in this uh, page. You want to download the zip file or if you have a different installation of Linux so you can select which one you need. So when you download this file, so basically you will end up with a file like uh, like this. So it says like uh, 6489.226. You extract this on your a root of your C drive so it should be here you can rename it if you want or you can just leave it here so you uh, extract this here and the next thing you want to do is open another uh, window and what you're going to do so if you remember we uh, install 
uh, or NVIDIA uh, GPU computing toolkit. So you go to the CUDA, you go to version 1.8, and what you're gonna do here, and here we also extract this file here. So you go to the bean and you copy all this uh, file and you come to your uh, CUDA version 118 on the bean and you paste it here. And then you go back here, uh, go to include, you come here and go to the include folder and you just copy paste this into include folder. And then you go back here to the lead and you go to uh, x64, you copy these files to uh, lead x64 and you paste it here. So once you do that and you're done, and there's one more step you have to do. And the next step is you can close this one, the, the CUDA DNA folder. One step, one next step you have to do is coming to your uh, and look for uh, edit the system environment. So when you select uh, edit your system environment, there are a couple of things you have to do. The first thing you have to do is if you don't have a CUDA, uh, when you install CUDA, you can see here, it's already created a CUDA patch for me, which is, it says C program file in video. So if you follow this video, so you will have something like that, exactly on the C drive with the same name. And if, if you, uh, and also you create a CUDA pad uh, just for safety and it's exactly the same address. So how you can do it. So basically, if you don't have this, you click new and then in here, variable name, you put like CUDA home, CUDA pad or CUDA pad version 11.8. And then the variable value, you just add this address. So which this address, you can copy paste it from here, from your uh, Explorer window. And so once you set up your uh, CUDA pad and CUDA home, it's CUDA home basically you say like the home to my CUDA is this. So basically we're having a CUDA, uh, let me go back here, we have a CUDA version 11.8. You just wanna tell your system to search for your CUDA in here. Anything needs to go to the CUDA's home. And when you're done with that, one more step here, you come here to a user variable, uh, and then you find this path and you double click on it. When you double click on it, it shows all of your paths. So these are the four paths that you should have. So you can stop this video and find these paths on, if you follow, uh, the video and exactly do as I would as I said your path it would be exactly the same so basically you want to uh, add a path here by creating a new and then you want to copy paste uh, where is your bin folder on your CUDA where is your lib and VVP folder and where is your uh, uh, folder that is lib x64 folder is there and also you want to create a, 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 a new path to your home uh, CUDA installation place. Once you've done all those things you okay this and then you okay this window and make sure when you come to the uh, to set up this environmental variable you make sure you're on the advanced so you're not in the other uh, sub menu so you have to be on this and uh, when you here you okay this one restart your uh, computer so when you restart uh, if you open a terminal window and you type nvcc uh, version so you have to see you install this correctly and also there are uh, 
two uh, different uh, command lines you can also confirm your uh, path and uh, which is we're not going to talk about it right now i don't think it's very difficult really agent you might just get uh, some errors and you have to be able to uh, manage how to uh, debug it but if you can uh, do that i think this is a very good skill set to learn so i hope you this video helps you with the uh, 